Hi, I'm Lori from Revision FX and I'm here to show you how to use Twixter in Premiere Pro. We're going to start with some simple speed changes. Okay, let's start with this clip of my friend Jesse. He came to race his car today and didn't know what he was getting into. We're going to speed him up, slow him down, and we're going to do this using Twixter. Let's get started. We have our source material here and this clip is HDV 720p and its frame rate is 29.97 frames per second. Let's take a look at Premiere Pro's interpret footage settings. Note that Premiere Pro thinks this is progressive footage, which it is. If however the footage is interlaced, you'll want to make sure that this interpret footage setting of upper or lower in Premiere matches that of the footage. We will make a new sequence by going to File, New Sequence. Leave the settings the same if they match your input clip. If the resolution and frame rate do not match your input clip, then change those settings here. Now we're going to drag our clip to the timeline. We will want to tell Twixter to change the speed of the shot for a speed up effect. Twixter does this by purging and or creating new frames based on motion and speed up factor. As a result, the footage is shorter. For example, a two second clip when made two times faster for a speed change of 200% becomes a one second clip. We can add Twixter to our clip by going to the Effects tab and Video Effects, Revision Plugins, and Twixter. You can also just search Twixter like this. Let's go to the Effect Controls tab and take a look at the settings. We have the display, which we can have on Source or Twixter to Output. We're going to leave it on Output. For a simple speed up, the default settings work great, so we really only need to be concerned about a few controls here. The display. The input fields need to match whatever we set up in the interpret footage, which was none. However, if your footage is upper field first or lower field first interlaced footage, make sure Twixter's settings match those of the footage. Now we just need to adjust the speed. We will leave the rest of the controls for other tutorials. This is the way it works. If I choose to make it three times faster, that would be 300%. So if I put 300 in the speed dialog box, we can see the result. If I want to see the result though, I will have to render the selection since Twixter is not real time. I go to the sequence and render effects in the work area. The source clip that was 150 frames long or 5 seconds long is now 50 frames or 1 second 20 frames long. Hmm, are you wondering why it's just black after 120? That's because Twixter is not allowed to adjust the length of the final output clip unlike Premiere Pro's built-in speed setting, which is allowed to change the duration. Plugins are not allowed, so it just goes black for the duration of the clip after our last good frame. We can simply go to the last good frame of the clip and use the razor tool to cut the clip or go to the end of the clip and drag the out point to set the new duration. Okay, we're good to go. All right, Jesse, we just made you go three times faster. Now we're going to do a simple slow motion effect. In this lesson, where the new duration has to become longer than the original, and we learned that plugins are not allowed to alter the duration of the source material, we can use a workaround. What we do is take our original sequence and copy and paste it a few times to extend the sequence. You just need to make sure that the new duration is at least as long as your final output is going to be. Now we don't apply Twixter to that extended sequence, but we create a new sequence by going to File and New Sequence and leave the settings the same. Let's call this new sequence Twixtered Slow Mo. We can then drop the extended sequence into the new sequence and apply Twixter to that by one of the methods we previously discussed. Let's go ahead and select the extended sequence with Twixter applied and go to the Effects tab in order to adjust the settings. Remember to set the input fields to None. 
Now we can choose the type of time remapping we want, speed or frame number, and in this lesson we will use speed. All we have to do is set the speed percentage. A value of 50% would tell Twixter to play the clip half as fast as the original. We're going to make it 50% slower, so in the dialog box I will type 50. Just a side note, Twixter doesn't retime the audio on your clip. That will have to be done separate and in another lesson. We can go ahead and render the sequence. Now let's play back the result. That looks good, except it starts playing the clip again within the sequence. That is because when we copy and pasted the sequence to extend the clip, we made it too long. We can simply go to the last good frame of the cut and change the duration to end the sequence here by dragging the out point. All right, Jesse, sorry, but you're now racing half as fast. You'll never want to race like this. So. This is how you do a simple slow motion effect in Twixter within Premiere Pro.